I am Professor Pierre Ginsberg. Good morning, Mr. Pitt is busy. But, madame, this is very important. It's a matter between life or death, or maybe both. Very well, then. Tell him he's no longer my lawyer. And about the fee I owe him, forget it. I will get another lawyer. And from now on, I will owe him. Did I hear someone say they owe me money? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, Professor Ginsberg. Mr. Pitts, I must talk to you confidentially. Well, come right in here where we'll be all alone. Right. Yes. Now, then, Karen, what's on your mind? I cannot tell you here in the barber shop. Uh, let us go to the sporting goods department where it is not so busy. Very well. Well, Pierre, I suppose you've come to pay me that money you owe me? No, no, I come to owe you some more. I have a problem. Oh? Well. What's on your mind? I want to commit a murder and you must help me. Are you insane? Not now, but after the murder if you say so. Oh, I see. And you want me to help you to commit a murder? No, no. I do it all myself, so no. But I want you to fix it up so I do not go to sing song. Hmm. And uh, have you decided upon your victim? Yes, my wife. Your wife? She's too expensive. All day long, she'd carry her. Pâté de foie gras, lobster à la New York. Uh, Newburgh. No, New York. Everything by her is big. And she always asks me for money. Give me 10, give me 20, give me 30. I tell you, it's money, money all the time. But what does she do with all this money? I don't know. I never give her any. And she always has a dance craze. A dance crazy for dancing. Instructors, five dollars per hour. Last week, she lost 20 pounds. Cost me 200 dollars. 10 dollars a pound. I tell you, she's living on the fat of the land. Too expensive. I see. Go on. And three nights a week, I must take her to the Swellers Cabaret. I tell you, I'm beginning to look like a cover shout. But that is no reason for homicide. She also has a radio bug. All day long, she listens to police call. I tell you, my house would look like a police station. It is no use. She also is a big liar. She lies continuality. The other night, she came home very late. I said to her, Anita, where were you? She tells me she spent the evening with her friend Margie. Well, how do you know she was lying? Because I spent the evening with Margie. It's no use. I've got to kill her. Now, Pierre, why don't you divorce her? No, no. A murder is quicker. You don't have to pay no alimony, and everything is cosa, le bit, le bit, What does that mean? Gone with the wind. It's no use. I've got to kill her. Very well. If you must go through with this idea, do it the smart way. The smart way? That is right. But what is the smart way? Kill her with kindness. With kindness? Are you crazy? Mr. Pitts, I will continue to owe you money. Good, right. Wait, now let me explain. Explain? You say you take your wife to nightclubs three times a week. Claire, from now on, you will take her every night in the week and to the smartest of nightclubs. Every night? How late do you usually stay in these nightclubs? Much too late. Sometimes two to thirty, three o'clock. All wrong. From now on, five, six in the morning. Mr. Pitts, you talk like Mickey the Mice. Now wait. You must wear her down. You say she likes rich food. Yes. Stuff her with richer food. Dance with her. Dance her feet off. Cater to her every whim. I'm positive that one of us is crazy and it cannot be me. Now look, Claire. This is the second day of September. If you follow my instructions, I guarantee you, by the second of October, your troubles will be over. And you will have done it the smart way. You guarantee this? Absolutely. And not only that, I will be with you to see that you don't make any mistakes. How does that sound? Wonderful. Public killer with kindness number one. That is me, boss. Yeah. Forever. At five dollars per hour. Ah, ma chérie, my bonbon. In French, that means my darling. Pierre, how dare you come home and interrupt my dancing lesson. Don't be discouraged. Go to her. Be sweet to her. Remember, one month. But two days. 
my chérie, my bonbon, my exquisite petite cabbage. Look what I brought for you. Chocolate, flowers, everything you little heart desire. Oh, yes, that's my sweet of you, dear. Uh, throw them somewhere. I'm just getting into the swing of this. Listen, dear. Pay those instructors off. Get smart. Dance with her yourself. But I do not know how to dance. Neither does she, but you must dance with her anyway. Give me some money. Oh, money. Yes, yes. If you dance you by the hour, you better pay them by the day. That's all right. That's all right. all right, sir. I'll pay them all. Now you go back and dance with your wife. The smart way. Monsieur, will you give me the pleasure of dancing with my own wife? Mister, it'll be a pleasure all the way around. Thank you. Don't sit down. Let's come to sleep for. Please don't sleep. I mean from now on to the end. Uh. All right, boys. There you are. Thank you. And you? Thank you. And you? That'll be all, boys. Thank you very much. How am I doing, Daddy? Wonderful. And you? That'll be all, boys. Thank you very much. How am I doing, Daddy? Wonderful. Pretty soon you'll be able to dance on your own feet. Calling car 162. Calling car 162. Proceed to 108 Orchard Street, apartment 1B. First floor, altercation. That is all. What are we to Orchard Street? Like it's right around the corner. Come on, let's see the... But you my little sucker dash. Oh, Listen. come on. Don't bother. But you... Yes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, what is... Oh. Stand up. Now, just a minute, Rick. Now, Marie, me. Stand up, Barbara. And take your just minute. Just a minute, now. Yes. Then you are satisfied. Let's go home and finish our dancing. What, miss this? We're going in. We're going in. Go ahead, do a Go ahead. Go ahead. I think they would rather be alone. Are you going to stand there and see that man beat up a poor defenseless woman? Defenseless? In a few moments, she will be a widow. Do as she says. I'm a hero. Oh, the old man. As we say in French, le guichero terrible. Who are you? I'm Professor Pierre Ginsberg, teacher in French deluxe. Oswald, this guy's insulting me. Oh, but Monsieur, Madame. Oh, call this name. What's up, Come here, Come here, This is not this smart way. Oh, Mr. Pitts, I'm bored. Come on. Very well, my dear. What you listen here? Hey, listen, wise guy. If my wife wants to beat me up, that's her business. This will teach you to leave decent people alone. But I did. But this is not this smart way. What is? But what about Pierre? We've no time to think of Pierre. I must get to Hempstead's department store immediately. They have a wonderful sale. Oh! Oh, Pierre, you're always late. Come on, we're going to Hempstead. Hurry up. What day is this? Still the first day. How am I doing? Wonderful. She might even go quicker than we thought. Good. Now, come on. We've got to follow your wife to Hempstead. Oh, the smart way. What's the matter, lady? Think you're a jockey or something? How dare you! Be smart, Pierre. Help her out, Miss McQueen. Don't you pay any attention to lights? Lights, lights, officer. She does not smoke. She just went through a red light. Ah, but it's not her fault. She did not see the red light. She's what you call colorblind. Oh, colorblind. <laughs> Driving a car and colorblind. It is a shame. You know, she needed glasses for years. Pierre! Well, I'm going to give her a ticket. Oh, no, no, officer. You can't do that. She was celebrating her dog's birthday. She's not herself. If you drink, send her. Oh, la la! Pierre, what's the matter with you? Oh, a drunken driver, eh? Let me see your license. License? Don't be silly. She has no license. She has no license? No, no. And furthermore, she never did have a license. Move over. Move over. Now we'll have a good driver. Stand down. Next case, please. 
This is Anita Ginsburg, charged by Officer Kelly with passing a red light, reckless drive and driving a car while intoxicated and driving without a license. Are you the defendant, madam? Yes, and I've never been so insulted in my life, but I want to tell your honor that if it has... What's the matter with your hand, Kelly? Your honor, while I was driving this lady's car, she bit me. Well, madam, how do you plead? She pleads guilty, your honor, with a request for clemency. Including the bite, the fine will be one hundred dollars. But, Your Honor, I... Mr. Pitts, you may be a lawyer, but I will handle this myself. Your Honor, it was such a little bite for one hundred dollars. Well, we'll make it a large bite. One hundred and fifty dollars. One hundred and fifty dollars? One minute, Your Honor. You know... You seem to be such a kind man, like we call a good-for-nothing fellow. Uh, cannot you put my wife in Bastille or prison and see me the money? How dare you make me such a proposition? The fine will be two hundred dollars. Can we form a corporation? So, before you find yourself in the bread line, pay that fine. Oh, come on. Well, why doesn't Pierre behave himself? This has shattered my nerves. I need relaxation, music, dancing. Well, as soon as he pays his fine, we'll go home and dress. What's holding up that line? This man wants a receipt for a $200 fine. Oh, he does, does he? Well, give him a receipt for a $400 fine. $400? This is not the smart way. This is the hard way. I will have some hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. English translation, herring and onions. Pierre, that man's flirting with me. Attend to him immediately. What for? He do nothing to me. Attend to him immediately. Very well. Monsieur, I want to talk to you. What do you want? Where are you? You insulted my wife. My car. What? You're sorry? You will never do it again? Very well. I accept your apology. Bon voyage. Bonsoir. Smallest giant in the world. Well, it is done. He has apologized. Pierre, you're an idiot. Not that little man. That one. Go ahead. Do it. Are you working for me or for her? Pierre! I wish you would make up your mind. You umbrance yourself. Well? Pardon me, madame. Monsieur, you have insulted my wife. What? Here, take this money and pay no attention to what I say. So, you say I'm sorry. You never do it again? Very well. I accept your apology. Bonsoir. Bon voyage. Are you going to stand for that, baby? No, I ain't going to fall for it either. What, what is it? A tough guy, eh? Ah, oh, delicious. Yeah. You took care of that mash up here? Yes, I taught him a lesson I never would forget. Good. Oh, entertainer, crooner, will you come here, please? Tonight I feel I must have Italian music. Oh, uh, would you please sing me Finiculi Finicula? Oh, oh, I am so sorry, madame. I... I do not know that number. Oh, I must have Finiculi Finicula. It puts me in a different world. Are you sure? Yes. It carries me far, far away. That is all I want to know. Professor, play me Finiculi Finicula. <laughs> La 
50 cents. But what is that $150 fell? What? Not it? Come on, boys, what is in here? Oh, you don't let us hear you got some belly of pounds and a little. Well. Mr. and Mrs. Pierre again, sir, to see you, Mr. Pitt. Send them in. Good morning, Mr. Pitt. What a marvelous party last night. I haven't have been a gay and glorious month. Parties every single night. Hasn't he ever been a darling? He certainly has. Uh, how do you feel, Mrs. Ginsberg? Me? Oh, I feel marvelous. And you, Pierre? How do you feel? I should have quit when I was ahead. Well, I suppose you two boys want to be alone. Anyway, I must be off for my dancing lesson. Look, Mr. Pitts, the new step I'm learning. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You see how happy she is. Well, what about it? Little does she know, by tomorrow she'll be dead. <laughs> what was America like? You know, back when? Go to American Life Filmstock and find out. <laughs> 